You guys, I did another trade for a Louis Vuitton bag. I'm hoping that this one will go out much better than the last one, but as you guys can see, this is a true unboxing. So we will have to find out together whether or not this was a good trade for me. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I love handbags. In 2024, I am trying to shop less, so I'm only allowing myself to buy three handbags total in the year of 2024. But something new that I've been doing is actually trading out bags that I am no longer loving with another YouTuber for a bag that they are no longer loving. Stay tuned to the end if you are a YouTuber and you do want to trade out some bags because I'm going to share a couple bags that I'd be willing to trade or to sell. Today's trade is with Liz. If you guys have not come across her channel yet, where have you been? She has a wonderful channel. She is so down to earth. I absolutely love her personality. I will have her channel linked down below, but her motto is nothing but bags. So she's not so into her fashion and into her style. Although I have to say I disagree because her style is on and popping in my personal opinion you guys she loves a good denim jacket just like i do if you are not a stranger here so she does have a beautiful style in my humble opinion but she loves bags that's where it's at for her she matches her outfits to the bags the bags are the star of the show which if you've been here for quite a while then you know that i have said that about my own personal style many many times i don't like to spend tons and tons of money on clothing like this is from amazon but i do love to buy specific things that are the star of the show generally that comes in the form of my handbag okay let's go ahead and dive right into this as i mentioned it's a true unboxing as you can see here i do have my box cutter i'm doing my best not to show you guys my address it's on the other side so hopefully i won't have to blur anything out but let's go ahead and see what's inside of here now liz and i are both kind of anxious people which is honestly something i'm grateful for because our communication during this process was spot on and she really did understand my anxious communication communication level so that I really really appreciate she had it boxed up at the UPS store they did a very good job Liz just in case you were wondering okay so here is the bag I did let her know that she could keep her dust bag if she wanted to she didn't have to send it to me because I didn't have a Louis Vuitton dust bag to uh, send with the bag that I sent to her if you guys want to see what bag I traded her, you're definitely going to have to check out her channel. I forgot to mention earlier, you guys, when I was ranting and raving and bragging about how much I loved Liz and how much I love her channel, is that today's video is actually a collaboration video. So she's going to do a video on what bag I traded her for this bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now, I have a feeling that this is not the dust bag that actually goes with the bag. Liz, let us know down below what the secret is on this dust bag because it's definitely large and in charge. You guys, I can see the color already and it is so stunning. You guys, look at how beautiful this color is. I'm just taking it in. I haven't seen it in person at all, as you guys know by now with the true unboxing, but it's absolutely stunning. This is like my favorite color of blue. It's like a periwinkle blue. It almost has a little bit of purple to it. It has the silver hardware, which you guys know is my favorite. I am a cool tone girly, and I do have something I want to share with about that as well with you guys. And then here is the inside. It comes with the guitar strap. This is the part I was torn about because I love the look of a guitar strap, but I don't actually use guitar straps very often. But I am a shoulder bag girly. I don't like a crossbody bag, but if I'm dressed up, I tend to go for the bag top handle. So the strap is something that I will use when I'm dressing more casual or if I'm wearing this bag to work. Woo! Get a breath, Melissa, and this is how I will carry it if I'm carrying it top handle. Okay, so here is the interior of the bag. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. 
the bottom is perfect. There's very, very minor wear on this bag. Everything that there was as far as wear goes, Liz pointed out to me and I had no problem with the minor wear and tear that's on this bag. Before I start playing with this bag and sharing with you guys what fits inside, I did want to share that I had a color analysis done. If you guys are not new here, then you might know that I've been on this journey of curating my closet. It's a very slow journey because I'm not actually purchasing anything right now, but I am cleaning out colors that don't work for me or I find that are very, very difficult for me to style, which is actually why I traded my YSL college bag for my pink on my BB because pink is in my color palette but so is this beautiful periwinkle blue. I will share with you guys my curated color palette by my color analysis. I think that the colors are absolutely stunning. And for those of you that are curious, I am in the color palette True Summer. So not necessarily pastel colors, not super light colors, but more vibrant, but not super vibrant colors. So more of a blue like this, rather than a blue like this. Hopefully that is making sense. Of course, my color palette is here, so you guys can just reference that. True Summer is a cool tone color palette, which I absolutely knew. And I actually pulled colors from my color palette to do my makeup today. So I went with a berry lip color. She thought that it looked really, really good in berries. That is a color that I've never played with before. So I am excited to start playing with that type of color. I have always liked it in a lipstick, but I've never actually worn it on myself. So I do feel eager to go out and try some pieces on, not buy, but try some pieces on in a berry color and see how they get along with my skin tone. Okay, I went ahead and I grabbed my Alma BB organizer. I think this is going to be so beautiful inside of this blue bag. The pinks and the purples, I believe, will go really, really well. And then I also grabbed a bunch of stuff, so we will see what fits inside. Now, I do have an Alma BB, so I do know what will fit inside, but for the sake of this video, I did want to share it with you guys. I am currently using a card holder, but I do want to share that a wallet can fit inside of your bag. This is the Victorine wallet. I don't currently have any, well, not much inside of here because I'm not using it right now. I am using my card holder, but this will fit inside of the bag perfectly, and it goes beautifully with the colors, don't it? I think it's so, so pretty, both of which are part of my color palette. So inside of here, you can see how that fits. The next item that would be important to me is going to be my keys. I have mine in this small little key pouch. Of course, that will fit just fine as well. The next item for me would be my phone. I'm filming on my phone, but this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, I tend to leave my Alma BBs open, which will have the top of your phone poking out if you choose to have it horizontally. But for the sake of this video, because I know not most people carry it that way, I am going to put it in there horizontally instead of vertically. The next item that's most important to me is my eyeglasses. So if I am carrying a smaller bag like the Alma BB, I tend to go for a smaller, softer case rather than a hard case. And I just slip it into one of the slots that my uh, organizer has. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. There's a little pocket in the organizer and that is where I slipped myself or my sunglasses in. Next up would be some sort of a pouch. I just got this pouch. This is from Naomi's Crafted. She crafts these out of Hermes dust bags and I really, really like it. I like the fact that you can get something like this instead of buying something like this. Whereas this one's gonna be much more expensive. This one's gonna be a little bit more affordable. Another thing that I like about this one a lot is how slim it is. So that fits a little bit easier in my bag, even though it is taller than the mini pochette. So that is how everything is looking so far. The only other item that I would really carry inside of my bag on a day-to-day -day basis is my headphones. I just have the AirPods and that's just gonna slip right down in there, no problem. I'm just gonna put it in the bottom. So that is everything. Let's zip it up. I don't typically zip mine up because I don't like how it gets a little wonky when you zip it up. As you can probably see there, it's not completely straight, but I think with those items, it actually works out pretty well. And that's all that I would carry on a day-to-day -day basis. 
For those of you who have made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Leave me a little emoji, any emoji, whatever your favorite emoji is down in the comments below. Now this portion is for anybody who is wanting to trade a bag. This is really fun, it's really exciting. I am lim limiting it to other YouTubers, unfortunately, because I am in contact with other YouTubers and it just makes me a little bit less afraid to get scammed. This bag here is the YSL Small Lulu in white. I don't gravitate towards it very often because it doesn't have a top handle. I'm willing to trade this bag for another bag. It's not in perfect condition, but it is in really good condition. I believe it has a popped stitch right here. If you guys can see that. And then the glue is turning a little bit yellow right here. That is the only issue with it. There isn't any corner wear, there's no staining, there's no smell, nothing like that. So this bag is up for trade if anybody would be interested. This is another beautiful bag that it is up for trade. This unfortunately doesn't work with my color palette and it's hard to use because it is so heavy. Now the heaviness wouldn't bother me as much if this was in my color palette, but it's not. And because it's more of a warm tone, very warm tone, it's very hard for me to style. This is another one that's in very good condition, but it's not in perfect condition. It does have some um, almost like dirty marks on it where it looks a little bit more dirty, a little less clean. You can clean that off with a, with a suede cleaner. Other than that, there's no issues, no corner wear, no tears, no smells, nothing like that. So this is another bag that is up for trade. This is another bag that is up for trade. Unfortunately, this is a bag that was just a huge mistake on my part. It's very functional, it's very comfortable, it's very practical, but I picked the wrong color, you guys. I should have gone with a cool tone color. I will say that this bag gets dirty really easy because it is a neon color, but you can simply take a wet wipe and it wipes right off. As far as staining goes, there's no staining on the bag. There's no corner wear that I can see. There's nothing wrong with the bag other than the fact that it's the wrong color for me. There is a tiny, tiny little nick right there. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. So if anybody's interested in this, and of course I could send you guys more photos and more um, video footage if you guys are interested. So let me know if you'd be interested in this. That is all that is in my collection that I'm not gravitating towards or using at the moment. Again, I think it's so much fun to do a trade rather than selling the bag. When you sell a bag, you get a fraction of the price for it. But when you do a trade, it, for me personally, I feel like I'm not losing out on anything, even if the trade is for a lesser value bag. Because if I were to sell a bag, let's say I sold this bag to Fashion File. Let's say I got $900 from Fashion File for it. Fashion File is going to turn around and sell this bag for $1,500. And then let's say I wanted to buy a bag with the money that, that I profited off of this bag. I would only have eight or nine hundred dollars to spend on a bag so then i'd go to fashion file and i'd be spending my own money whereas if i were to do a trade it's an even trade i'm not losing any money and it's something new and exciting that i get to love and use in my collection and i get to clean house and get rid of something that i'm not using I want to say a big thank you to Liz for collaborating with me on today's video and for doing this trade. I am so, so excited to start using this bag. If you guys haven't seen Liz's video, please go over to her channel. As I mentioned, it's going to link, be linked down below for you guys to check out.